My first experience with mental health was when me and my sister were growing up. Um, she's a couple of years younger than me and she, she would be sort of taken out of class or, or take herself out of class because she would be um, struggling initially with her OCD um, which turned into panic attacks around school, around germs, around that sort of uh, thing at school. And then went into more like brain seizures and um, yeah, bless her, she had a really difficult time. So for me, my first experience of having anything to do with mental health personally um, was when I went through a, a breakup, when went through a divorce. Time it was my decision to, mm -hmm. to break up um, and the friends around me that I'd, I'd had for, for many years, some of them had questioned whether I was doing the right thing and sort of going, seeing my sister go through counselling and a couple of friends over the years have success with counselling or therapy. Um, it was like the first thing I needed. To, I knew I needed mm. to go. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I needed some help because mm -hmm. to me, understanding that therapy was so good and for, so good yeah. for others around me yeah. was an easy option for me. Yeah. There was a lot of friends around me that were telling me that I was doing the wrong thing because they knew my partner. They, there was, it was, it was just a lot of doubt around me, which for me made me feel like I couldn't, I didn't have the space to make the right decision um, or I didn't have the space to, to sort of feel happy that I'd made the right decision. It was difficult at the time, and it was a, a time where I, I felt like I needed some extra help. Having counselling, asking for help, talking about it, were three really, really important ways in which you could, could help and could help you recover, help you get out of something. People around me were saying, oh, you're a different person to what you used to be. And at first, that was, I felt quite like sad and down and like, oh, I don't want to be a different person. I'm, I'm still me, and I was fighting it for ages. Once I'd gone and spoke to people that are external to, you know, my, my friends and, and people around me were, were very hooked on the idea that me and my ex were supposed to be together. Once I got to somebody that just put, right, like, what's happened here? What's, you know, just going through all that, it, it makes you realize that actually you are quite strong and that since then I'm certainly a lot more self-aware um, and I certainly feel a lot stronger from it. I wanted to help other people speaking out and talking to people being being heard um, is is massively important i wanted to to do something each year uh, normally it was around my birthday I'd, I'd do like a fundraiser on my facebook page um, and try and raise funds uh, for a mental health charity so i wanted to start a business that could raise money for charities um, and could uh, just just reach a lot more people and, and, and spread that message further the name uh, Be Brave came because we've got a daughter, she's three. Um, she was only one and a half, two at the time, but we, we were reading a lot of books and we, we keep telling her or like suggesting to her to be brave and to, you know, if, if you really want to do something, to be brave is, is you, you know, you become unstoppable. And it's not necessarily be brave to do like a bungee jump or something physical like that. Sometimes it can be, you know, you're laying in bed and you just can't, can't, you just can't get out of bed or you just don't feel like you can take that step. Having something that is like, a part, builds a community that everybody in that community wants you to have those days where you can be brave. We sell clothing, so we've got t-shirts and jumpers, uh, hoodies, everything that we make is sustainable. Uh, it's eco-friendly. It's not necessarily eco-friendly on the surface. It's right down to the people that work in the factories, the people that go to work to make the tops. Because it's organic cotton, they they use no pesticides or anything, so that the the land isn't spoiled. Having a brand that I wanted people to care about and I wanted people to get 
but I also wanted people to somehow share it. And I didn't want to keep asking my friends to, um, can you just post this about Be Brave? We're doing this, we're up to this. I didn't want it to be that. I wanted to see how I could um, take a challenge. What I'd like to achieve from this business is having, having a community that everybody's on a similar page where people feel that they can speak out, that they can share their stories. And since day one, we, we've, we started by having people share their mental health stories, their journeys on our page. I genuinely just want to create something where people can wear it like a badge of honor. We've helped others in, hopefully in a number of ways, but one of the most obvious ways for me is that because we share people's stories and because we were able to allow people the space to have that conversation about mental health, um, things that they've struggled with in their lives um, and their journey really, I think that we've been able to help them because one, they can raise that awareness to the community to other people then uh, being helped by that because if somebody's talking about something specific other people may have gone through that maybe going through that and it can help them but then the feedback between the two uh, to that person that's telling their story and others that are feeding into it i think that can uh, that has really helped people one of the main focal points right again from the beginning is the charitable side of things so the Two charities that are involved are Mind Mental Health and One Tree Planted. We wanted to help uh, Mind Mental Health charity from day one. Uh, what we do with them each month, we a portion of our profits go to them. And it's a charity that I've worked with on numerous occasions with my sister. We've, we've worked in London, she was an ambassador for Time to Change as well, which is one of their projects. It's a charity that to me has always been close to my heart um, and it's something that I always wanted to be able to donate more and more to. For every single order we plant one tree. The charity themselves uh, have a fight for reforestation so they're, they're trying to replenish what has been lost uh, in the world. It's, it's nice to know that you've got someone there that you can comfortably speak to who you know has been through similar things as well. Everybody is so welcoming. What you see is what you get and everything is very genuine from the people to the clothes. I love the, the the family that they've kind of created with the customer base. You could chat very openly about everything without, I guess, fear of being judged for anything. 